Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to show you why I think the All-Star Superstar Machine is really the greatest. And I'm emphasizing greatest because I'm going to start with the letter G. And G stands for the great selection of dies that you can use in this machine. If you look at the table, you'll see that it will cut the full line of All-Star dies, which come in a variety of sizes. And right next to that, it also will cut all of the Sizzix Bigs dies, which you can see there's tons of sizes to choose from there as well. Now the R stands for reversible, and by that I mean that it will cut going both directions. So if I take, this is the puppet mouse that is going to make the paper bag puppet, and I have three pieces of paper, and I'm going to just place it. I'm going to turn this so that you can really see it going both ways, and I'm going to put one cutting pad underneath and the other cutting pad on top. And then I'm going to just slide it through and it will cut the parts and pieces that I need in order to cut out the mouse puppet. Now if you're doing this for a class, I don't even have to take this off. It's reversible, meaning I can then take this paper, place it back on the die, put the cutting pad back over the top, and this time I'm going to just go the other direction. <laughs> I'm using my left hand, but you could use your right hand still as well. But the fact that it will go both directions in order to cut all of the parts and pieces, you can see that I've cut out of pinks and whites. I've cut through construction paper through three sheets. And when the kids go back and put it together, they're going to be able to use these parts and pieces to make this really sweet paper bag puppet. The E stands for that is easy to cut, and by that I mean not just paper. If you look at the table, you'll see that I've cut fabric, and if you look here, the fabric can then be quilted, the fabric can be ironed on. You, if you look, I'm even wearing self-adhesive fabric in this little ghost that I've just cut out of self-adhesive and stuck it on. It's very cool. As well as fabric, it also cuts magnet. If I pull this up, you'll see, yep, those are magnets that are not going to come loose. So if you have a class board chalkboard that's magnetized, think of all the things you could cut that will stick to that. In addition, it cuts rubber. Here I've used rubber to make rubber stamps, and I've stamped with paint to create a decorated t-shirt. And then here, I've started to create, well, I've created a rubber stamp that I'm going to ink. But I thought it would be fun for you to see how easily that works. Instead of paper, you just take, in this case, self-adhesive rubber. You can make rubber stamps out of foam as well. And all I need to do is once again place the plastic um, cutting pad on the bottom and then the self-adhesive rubber and then the other plate on the top. And I'll just put it like so and run it through. So now instead of cutting paper, I'm just cutting rubber. And here, this happens to be self-adhesive rubber. So now I'm gonna just pull the backing off, place it onto a stamp mount. It could be a block of wood. It can be any handy implement that you have. And now all I have to do is ink this up. And then if you wanna use this as a way to give kids awards on their paper, I'll go ahead and stamp and you can see how quickly and easily every shape you have can be turned into a very cool rubber stamp. It also cuts foam. If you look at the table, you see that I've created puzzles. All I've done is cut foam out of the puzzle die in four different colors and then just rearrange the pieces in order to create any number of puzzles. Here it's being used to reinforce the alphabet capital and lowercase letters. In addition to foam, it cuts leather. I've used leather for any number of lacing projects for primary students. It's also great for making um, key tags and luggage tags, keychains. It also will cut sponge. Here I've cut pop-up sponge, and I've cut the pig, and I've cut the frog, and I've cut the heart. If you want to, it's fun to watch this. When you drop it into the water, it pops up into a usable sponge. I'll see if I can squeeze some of the water out so that I can set this on the table and you can see. Now that is really fun. I never had such a clean classroom as when kids had sponges to clean up, but you can also take the sponges, 
put paint on it and sponge paint with that as well. It will cut vinyl. Here is a sign where the sign is laminated, but every week or every birthday, I'm gonna take the letters off so that I can put the letters to spell a new child's name. So cutting vinyl instead, let me push down, instead of cutting out paper allows this to be something that can be then displayed in the classroom. You can also put the vinyl directly onto the the window and turn any window into a bulletin board as well. Now don't forget when we talk about paper, you also have laminated paper. This is cardstock that's been laminated and it's been used to cut out the square based pyramid. Now once this is assembled into the pyramid shape and you cut out 24 of them, look at the really cool puzzle that your students can make just using that square based pyramid cut out of laminated cardstock. Also, you can recycle. I'll bring these over and show you. If you have old greeting cards, if catalogs, any number of things can be die cut, in this case, bookmarks, so that you can really recycle. And when you teach the kids about recycling, you're setting a really great example. Now, the A stands for award-winning. If you look behind me, you can see that the Ellison all-Star Superstar Machine won the Teacher's Choice Award in the year 2011. In fact, I put some of the others up there because over the years, the Ellison family of products have consistently won Teacher's Choice Awards. Now, the T stands for that it is transportable. And by that, I mean that it travels really well. It has a handle and it's so light, it's really easy for you to move from classroom to classroom if that works best for your situation. Also, if you have work to take home, you could take it home and use that as well. The E stands for economical. It is in all of the family of Ellison machines and the dies that work with it, it is the most affordable. However, don't let that confuse you into thinking that the dies are not durable. The steel rule inside these dies is the same steel rule that you find in all of the wooden dies. The S stands for that it is supported. And by that, I mean it's fully supported for teachers with lesson plans. If you go online, you can print lesson plans. You can also click on the links and you can view the lesson plans in a video format. Either way, it really helps the lessons come to life. The T stands for a time saver. This machine is a huge time saver because it cuts through so many papers at once. Here you'll see that I have four different paper, sheets of colored paper, and I'm going to cut the puzzle die. So here is the puzzle die, and all I'm gonna do is just cover over it. I have one plate on the bottom and another cutting pad on the top, and I'm just going to roll it through. And I'm cutting out the puzzle, and this puzzle has six pieces. Because I'm cutting in four different colors, I'm then going to be able to rearrange the pieces so that I've created puzzle pieces in all the colors and something like this to get them to cut so that all the pieces will fit back together nicely. To try to do this by hand would just clearly be impossible. But if you'll see here, once it's reassembled, I have four puzzles for four different kids just by running it through the machine once. Now that just opens the door because you can cut through multiple thicknesses, it means you can fold the paper before you cut, which is a whole other world of fun projects. If you look here, you can see things that are cut on the side. And here is a side folded project where it folds, there's a folded area. And because I can cut through two or four thicknesses at once, it means that I can cut where the fold is on the side, which is what you see in this first grouping. And then here, you can see things where the cut, the fold is on the top which in this case is great for making a magnet bookmark that will mark somebody's place. Or in this example, it's great for folding the letters and having them hang on a banner when the, when the folded area is on the top. You can also have an accordion fold. If you look here, it creates sort of the paper doll look by accordion folding your paper before you cut. And then if you look here, this is what we call the gate fold. So you can fold the shapes and fold them over a gate folded card to create a card with handles. And then the final fold is when you have the folds on the bottom, which allows the dies to just stand up. Yes, the all-star superstar machine, it helps the teachers, but the ultimate beneficiary is really the kids. There's just no escaping the fact that your students will have an easier time learning when they have the actual manipulatives in their hands. To summarize, I think that I would say that this little machine, well, it's the greatest.